when you have the owner for the Boston Red Sox, along with, you know, his, his personnel, talking about changing the street's name because of what they know it to be and what is associated with Yorkie's name, to me, it's not about Mr. Yorkie. He's gone, God rest his soul. It's about the city of Boston, who it prides itself on being. You got to remember, and tell me if I'm wrong here, Ryan, many people, when I've been interviewed on WEEI and various other stations, the kind of conversations that I've had with people at, during Super Bowl week, some of the, the, the animus that other people have aimed towards their city, here's what I said to those radio hosts that I was talking to. I believed the same thing about Boston until I went there. And then I went there and I experienced the people and the fans and how they were and what have you. And I loved it. It's a vibrant atmosphere. I said, so people may be wrong, but what responsibility do you take as Bostonians to sit up there and say, we want to make sure that, our his you know, that, that, that we're no longer associating ourselves with that kind of history, because if we don't want to be held accountable, as one radio host, Tony Maserati, who's a friend of mine, as he said, if we don't want to be associated with us <clears throat> with, with this kind of, mm -hmm. of, of of vitriol that exists that existed decades ago, and we shouldn't be responsible for right now for something that happened years ago, then make sure to profoundly take that stance by disassociating yourself with something that may still stay in the city.